Welcome, Senate members, to this fall 2020 Senate meeting, and thank you for your time and energy in helping ensure the University of Saskatchewan is the university the world needs. I refer you to my written report for details on many of the university's accomplishments since our spring 2020 meeting. I regret I cannot be with you in person to deliver these remarks, and because of the video format, I will keep them as brief as possible. Public and university community response to the university's handling of the pandemic has been very positive. Essentially, we're taking a cautious approach that has served our communities well and ensured we have not experienced the same difficulties faced by many universities around the world who have pushed for reopening too soon and have compromised people's safety in the process. I acknowledge in this regard the terrific work done by our pandemic response team the university is equivalent to one of the province's larger cities when our students, faculty, staff, and other community members are combined in number. On any given day, the campus would see over 30,000 people on it. But unlike one of the larger cities, we are in a relatively small area. We have people from over 130 countries, and we have the age groups hardest hit by the pandemic. There are many opportunities to misstep, that is, and hence our cautious approach. Research at the university is doing very well, at Vito Intervac, of course, which continues to be one of the world leaders in the development of a COVID-19 vaccine, but also in many other areas. We have seen real success in international rankings, in Royal Society of Canada recognitions, and in federal grants. I thank Dr. Karen Chad for her leadership as our VP Research during an extended period of unprecedented research success and I welcome Dr. Baljeet Singh as our new VP Research, who begins his work in the role next February. Our enrollments at one point early in the pandemic predicted to be quite low are in fact up from last year by about 2%, a testament to the great work by our faculty and staff and university leadership and by our ICT office that has ensured the technology support for our high quality remote delivery platform. You will see more information about our enrollments in the agenda. We're moving ahead with our sustainability strategy that is part of this Senate meeting's agenda, as well as our equity, diversity, and inclusion policy work, which is also part of the agenda. These are priorities of ours and underpin our vision, mission, and values. You'll also see on the agenda the Indigenous engagement strategy that is so important to our ambition to be the best place we can be with and for Indigenous people in their communities. Our Prince Albert campus had its virtual opening last month. This is a tremendous step forward for our role as the University of the Province and for our Indigenous work as well, given that 55% of our current students studying with us in Prince Albert are Indigenous. I'm delighted that our presence there will be of benefit to the city of Prince Albert and to many future students who can now attend university from remote communities who could not make the move all the way to Saskatoon. And I encourage you all to see the wonderful venue that is now functional. I appreciate the many contributions of our Senate members and alumni and PA to the excitement around this timely project. A grand opening will occur once the pandemic has receded. All institutions around the world are struggling. Some are being affected disproportionately. Think of airlines, entertainment, sports, the CFL, health, K-12, the hospitality sector, and some universities are not going to survive the pandemic, I predict. We are not among them. By and large, our fate is in our own hands much more than in other sectors. In fact, the changes that many other sectors are facing will have the effect of increasing our relevance. The country's labor force, for instance, will be facing a talent challenge that we can help it meet successfully. To respond to this, we are beginning a post-pandemic shift commission that will identify the many things we will need to do differently after COVID is over. This is exciting and groundbreaking work that will help determine our future and how we can best contribute to the province's prosperity and the world's greatest challenges. We will look for ways to engage Senate with this very important project. Thank you, University of Saskatchewan Senators, for your patience and support as we navigate these unique times. I appreciate any and all feedback through the Office of the Secretary and Chief Governance Officer to me and my leadership colleagues so that we do not lose touch while we're operating remotely. And I wish each of you the very best in health 
during this challenging period for all of us.